What's up, everybody? Here we go again. Car talk. The topic of the day is how much protein do you really need to consume? Dot, dot, dot. The dot, dot, dot has to deal with what's your goals? What's your background? What style of training do you participate in? How much protein you need need to consume will change based upon your short-term goals and lifestyle. Uncle Mike is going to help you dial this in, but first, coffee. YouTubing. Americano, please. Hot, please. I just like the caffeine. Yeah. And it's like the espresso, I love the espresso, but it's, I'm gonna go for a drive, and it, within five minutes it's gone. Yeah. So I can kind of savor the Americano. I feel that. Right? That makes sense. It's all about the caffeine though. There you go. All right. Have a good day, Mike. You're the best, Mikhail. Thank you, I will see you soon. All right, let's break it down. How much protein do you really need? The average healthy adult needs approximately 0.8 grams of protein per pound of relatively lean body mass. That's really easy to do the calculation. If you weigh 200 pounds and you're not a big turd, you need around 160 or so grams of protein per day, which is rather easily manageable. Let's say you're eating um, five times per day, you need 30 to 40 grams of protein per meal, bingo, bango, boingo, you've got it done, no problem. And you see the beauty, all the beauty that is here. Look at all the beauty. Uh, and now not the beauty. But anyway, so you need the average meal, 30 to 40 grams of protein, five, six times a day. Boom, you're done. Don't even think about it. You're getting everything you need. Um, you're ready to go. Now, let's say you're an athlete. You're out there. You're pushing. You're doing your MMA, your jujitsu, your cardio kickboxing class. Uh, you're lifting a little bit of weights. You want to be fit. You want to be toned. You know, you want to be in good shape. You hit a couple runs. You go hiking with the friends. Maybe you play a little beach volleyball. You need to bump that protein up just a little bit, somewhere around maybe 1.2 grams per pound of relatively lean body mass. So that means you're gonna need to take in somewhere around 240 or so grams of protein per day. Again, super easy. If you're eating six times per day, you only need about 40 grams per meal. Not really that big of a deal when four ounces of most animal protein is 20 to 30 grams of protein all by itself. Not that we strongly suggest a diet high in animal proteins, a low to moderate diet in animal proteins. Yes, I am an omnivore. I do suggest an omnivoric lifestyle for maximal health and performance gains, but that still means approximately 10% of your total food consumption should come from animal sources. The rest should be plant-based. Now, let's say you're really trying to get yoked. You're trying to get hench. You're trying to make all them beautiful gains. Well, at that case, you want to be bumping up to about 1.5 to 2.0, depending on how big you are. The bigger you are, the more protein you will actually need. Why does this matter? This matters because the protein is the raw materials. Picture it at the lumber. If you are a 2,000 square foot home, you need a certain amount of lumber to build that. If you are a 4,000 square foot home, you need more raw materials. It's that simple. It's like drug use. The, the more muscle you have, the more receptors you have, the more steroids you have to take if you're a steroid person. 
Same thing with nutrients, same thing with protein. So if you're a 150 pound dude and you're trying to get up to 160, 180, you're really just trying to get yoked, you're trying to get hench, listen, you don't need to take in 400 grams of protein per day. You're gonna do really well taking in around 200 grams per day. So let's back this up. You weigh 200 pounds and remember the dot, 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 that has to do with your activity level, that has to do with your training demand, that has to do with what your goals are, what you're trying to accomplish. So this is relative. Anywhere between 0.8 and 1.6, just for simple math, which is a 2x on your protein intake based upon what you're trying to do. You're trying to get fucking huge and yoked. You probably want to be closer to that 1.6 area. I know I said 1.5, but 1.6 makes it just a little bit easier. Easy math, no problem. So, 200 pound dude walking around, or do that, I don't care. 200 pound person, you need to be taking in a approximately 300 grams yikes 320 grams at that 1.6 about 300 plus grams of protein per day to really get huge this is all simple stuff guys I'm not gonna make it overly complex for you because it doesn't need to be you really just need to be consistent at the food table eating high quality food now no pills no powders no potions and this is coming from a guy who sells a protein supplement soon to be the Dolce Whey Pro grass-fed cold process cross flow micro filtered whey protein isolate even though we have our forthcoming whey protein isolate, I'm still telling you, you need to be eating food, food first. Food is everything. If you can get all of your protein intake from food, psh, high five to you, that's exactly what I do. That's exactly what I do when I'm trying to make them mass gains. I'm eating it all from whole food. And then I have the protein powder for um, the times that I'm traveling. Maybe a post-workout when I really want to get an extra 20 to 40 grams in. Um, maybe it's just really hard for me to eat. Or because I'm already pushing 220 pounds or so, I need to take in closer to 400 total grams of protein in my day because I'm an advanced lifter. I've been training for 30 fucking years at this point. And it's, again, harder. I'm a much bigger house than the average person. Me at 5'10", 220 is pretty fucking big. Um, but by and large, it's unnecessary, right? So again, come on, transparency, honesty. By and large, it's unnecessary. You can get all the protein you need, every gram, from whole food sources, and that is always going to be our first and our best option. So let's, let's back this down now. The average person, 0 0.8 grams, my wife, 0 0.8 to 1.0 grams of protein per day. She's busy, she works out, you know, two days a week, two to three days a week on average. She trains once every four days or so. She does some sort of resistance. She does a little bit more cardio um, during the day. She gets out and she gets some walks and things like that. She's living mom life right now. She's busy, she's active, she's in the house, she's hefting kids around, she's doing all these different things but she's not trying to get fucking yoked. She's not trying to get shredded either. She's just trying to maintain her current level of health, her current physique, her current level of muscle mass. She needs that 0.8 to 1.0 because she is an active, healthy adult. Now, if she bumped it up to maybe three days per week of resistance training, she gets, starts getting on that Peloton bike a little bit more, she hits the pre-core, she does the TRX, she starts swinging some kettlebells, then she's gonna jump it up to that 1.2. She's gonna throw another 20 to 40 grams of protein into her day. And Lord, God, please God, no. Let's say she wants to get yoked and do some sort of figure physique bikini competition. Well, then she's gonna damn near double that. And she's going to get up to that 1.5, 1.6 area, maybe even the 2.0 on the super alpha A-type A -type training phases. Does that make sense, everybody? Does this all make sense to you? Remember, you should subscribe to this channel. Leave a thumbs up. Click on that little notification button. You can leave a thumbs down, too, if you don't like the content here, but why would you? And if you don't like the content, please leave a scathing review in the comment section below. I would absolutely love to hear. But if you have a further question or something to add to this conversation, please leave that below. Also, I want to hear, remember, tomorrow, Friday, I'm giving away a 
$100 Amazon gift card to one of you, one of the lucky folk out there who participates inside the comment section on this channel. What does that mean? That means you must have left a comment, at least one comment, in every video we've posted so far this week since Monday, and you must be the person who is contributing most to the community. You're engaging in dialogue, you're asking good questions, you're making funny comments, or you're just participating in some sort of positive way. But to be qualified, you must subscribe, click on that little notification bell, and leave this video a thumbs up or thumbs down. Yes, I'm trying to buy your engagement. Yes, but this is because we make about, I think last month I made 368 whole dollars in my YouTube experience. Not a lot of money here on YouTube. And I said, hey, why don't I give this money right back to you guys, the community? I think that's a win-win, right? So if you guys engage with the channel, you help the channel to grow, I can start throwing some cash back your way and have some fun with it. I am happy to do that, right? I win, you win, we all win together. Ha. All right, guys and gals, well, I appreciate you being here. You're absolutely awesome. Um, and until next time, boom!